And uh, oop, Karen Huga letting y'all know that she was right, baby. Okay, listen, Sky Squad, we are back in the building. And we, of course, got to talk some more Potomac news because literally it is rolling out of Potomac like a river. Rolling, rolling on a river. Okay, so we got to talk about Karen's response to all of this news that's coming out. She just did a live show and obviously she answered some fan questions about the Robin situation. And we also have Candace with more to say in depth about the situation. And she does give a shout out to Bravo. Plus, we got some more receipts from Mia. All right, so let's get into all of the tea. First things first, we take things over to a snippet from a Variety article. Now, this Variety article features questions for Candace Diller Bassett. Our friends over at Jay's Reality Blog posted about this. So Candace was asked, what did you make of Robin and Juan's wedding? Did that come as a surprise to you? And so Candace says, I can answer this question two ways. The pre-podcast and Patreon bomb drop and post-podcast and Patreon bomb drop. Prior to what we learned, I was happy for them. I always saw Robin as someone who was honest and who was transparent. What I loved the most about her was that she marched to the beat of her own drum and that she did things in her own way and that her and Juan did things in their own way. I respected and appreciated that they didn't bend to the requests of everyone. Family, friends on the show asking her when she's getting married and what you're going to do. I respected that. So to see her do what she wanted on her own terms and get married when she was ready to get married, I was happy for her. I was incredibly happy for her and Juan and for the boys because I can't imagine how much of a positive impact it's going to have on these young black men to see their family go through everything they've been through and then put themselves back together. That has a huge impact. I was really happy for them. So then the next question is, what are your thoughts on Robin and Juan's situation now that Robin has come forward and shared her side of things? Candace responds and says, I'm really disappointed and hurt that we're on a show about sharing our lives. Robin is someone that I thought was honest and open about her life as she expected and demanded of each of us to be honest about our own lives. It's hurtful that she chose not to and watch my husband be dragged for lies when she had a true story to tell. I looked at her like a sister, a friend, and I thought I knew who she was. So this definitely made me question if I knew who she was. After everything went down with the releasing all this stuff, it brings into question every interaction that we've had and everything that she said. Has she always been honest? I don't know. I don't like being in that place. I do want to clear up one thing as well about my tweets regarding this situation. My commentary was directed at Robin and the people that helped Robin keep her real story under wraps in exchange for lies about my husband. I don't ever want anyone to think that I am blaming or disparaging our production company or our network who have always been very good to me and have helped me to successfully launch a music career and a film career and always been honest even when it wasn't in my favor. I appreciate neutral, honest machines and our production company and our network. A lot to unpack here, a whole lot to unpack here, but I have put the pieces of the puzzle together. So we'll first start with the Robin of it all. Wow, like we saw kind of a breakdown in Robin and Candace's relationship when Robin went after Candace with that Bose speaker. 
really just kind of tearing a little bit of a rift in their friendship a little bit because Robin played that clip like she didn't watch the entire thing where Candace basically was talking about a lot of the women being fake, but she specifically excluded Robin. So that was kind of wild to me that Robin was making those types of moves, but knowing that Candace really wasn't talking about her. So it really feels like in retrospect, Robin was just trying to make a moment on television. So as Candace reflects on whether or not her interactions with Robin were real or not, it's kind of sad because, I mean, you have to ask those same questions. And I think that it's nice to see that Candace is being honest about the uncertainty of those interactions now that she is, well, now that we all are removed from the situation and have a better bird's eye view of what was actually happening during the season and what we actually saw play out on camera. <sighs> the second part of this that I want to talk about where she says, I want to clear up one thing about my tweet regarding this situation. She says, my commentary was directed at Robin and the people that helped Robin keep her real story under wraps, which in my opinion is Giselle and Ashley, because what I did was I did some digging and I saw Ashley on Fox 5 DC. Now you guys know that I sometimes do Fox 5 DC. I'm going to be there on Monday to wrap up the Grammys and to do a little Housewives recap. But Ashley was on and she talked about Robin coming out with this information about Juan on the Reasonably Shady podcast. And she actually responded to Candace's initial tweets about this subject. Now we discussed those tweets on this on this channel. You guys can go back and watch the videos from this week, but Candace really eloquently stated how we all feel and she asked, "You know, what are we doing if we're not showing our real lives?" And Ashley made it seem like that comment was directed toward a network executive. So Look this, at all of is, this is particularly about someone who works at our production company, Truly mm -hmm. Original. She recently was honored because she is such a powerhouse in what she does. And she made a comment about how she appreciates that the shows are successful because we are authentic with our lives. And she actually spotlighted Candy Burris. And I guess Candace is refuting that as to what uh, authentic actually is. And, mm. you know, I didn't read the whole thing. Someone tagged me in it. I was like, really, y'all? It's, it's too early. Uh, it's hard to <laughs> figure out what flow. Yeah. Yeah. She used a lot of big words. I do appreciate that she has a big <laughs> vocabulary. But I just don't know if the diction and where she chose to use those words was appropriate. Are you she on good terms? No. Uh, Oh, I, are we ever? I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, to me, that was uh, uncalled for personally mm -hmm. because we are in the same industry and these people do work really hard to make our show. We don't agree with, always with what they do, but essentially we know what we signed up for. I never knew any of that, but there was allegedly something that had happened with the network where a network executive was being um, recognized and she was talking about, you know, authenticity on reality television and Ashley on Fox 5 made it seem like Candace was directing it back at the network. Like she was really trying to call out the network. But for Candace, she's like, no, in this article, she makes it clear. The commentary was directed at Robin and the people involved in the shenanigans, okay? The cast members involved. Whew, lots to unpack there. Now, let's get into Mia. You guys may recall also that on the reunion clip, Jacqueline came out and made the accusation that Mia is not even the CEO of her company. Well, Mia, who has been on a receipt sharing spree on her Instagram, she posted an Instagram post of her business filings. Now, if you guys look here, she also asks anything else that needs to be cleared up today. She says the audacity of my so-called best friend. Now who's the fake? Anything else for the good of the order? Hashtag Real Housewives of Potomac. Hashtag True Story. Hashtag Part 3. Now, in this, you guys can see 
the business filings, you can see business corporation, you can see the officers. And it does say chief operating officer and it does say Mia Phil Thornton. It also says chief executive officer and it says Gordon Thornton. So based on the business registration for what we have here, it looks to be that Mia is the chief operating officer. Now, it's unclear to me if Jacqueline was referring to the joint or the LLC or the corporation itself. Because here's the thing, as a business, you have a business entity, which can be like an LLC, an S Corp or a corporation. And within that corporation or within that business entity, you can be the chief op chief ex chief operating officer or chief executive officer, whatever the case may be. On the other hand, if you are a franchise owner, then you may have a different title for what the franchise lists you as. So I'm not for certain what the case may be. Regardless, Mia is posting the receipts. And it does say chief operating officer. I don't know, guys. All I know is I hate to see a friendship like this fall out. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. However, comma, I do find Jacqueline and Mia's relationship very interesting. It would be nice to see them work it out and come back together and see how they do that and maybe see the rest of the women rally around them to come together next season. You know, uh, a season without Robin on it or with Robin as a friend. Um, I just think that at this point in time, if you're not willing to give your real life story, then you probably should be either on the bench or as a friend, period, point blank. Let the full time players full time it. And it would be just like putting basketball players on the court. Either you playing full out, okay, or you're not playing at all. What you gonna do? Anyway, that's the T for what we got for right now. I will catch you guys in the next video.